Guys, and today, next thing that uh, was really hard for the people who are tourists in Germany is how to get a SIM card with TSU Go. And now it's even more complicated than before. Before it was a little easier, it was you could buy a SIM card from a gas station or petrol station. From a, from, a sta from a petrol station, you could buy that a SIM card put in your phone, then you need to go using Wi-Fi or other SIM card to a website when you had to register the phone, put in the card number, phone number of the card, which is of course uh, included, your name, address in Germany, and after a few minutes it would be activated. It was in, that procedure worked, uh, worked in 2015, 2016, because uh, I went through that and it worked. Now it's a much more complicated. It is. There are two options, there are two, three options of that. But first of all, you need to buy a SIM card. You, you can buy it on a, on a petrol station or in a company branch. If you buy it on a, on a petrol station, that's uh, much more complicated because it's not active and you need to register it before it will be activated. You can go to a branch with that uh, SIM card to activate it or you can go to a post office. If you want to do this through post office, that's quite uh, simple how to do it. And let's go step by step if you buy a SIM card on a this or station. First, you need to go to a website for your registration and put the number of the card, your address, email address. On the email, you will receive a special code and then you have to decide on that website if you want to do it in the post office or by phone. If you want to do it in the post office, you need to go to the post office with that coupon on your message and your ID card. Mm -hmm. Then they will, they will scan your, uh, the code from your message, your ID card will be uh, photocopied and then in a few, few hours your card will be activated. But it does not always work, but usually it works. The second way is that you can choose on the website that you want to Made activation uh, uh, through video chat. So then you have that code, you need to install post ident app on your phone, the scan of that code from that uh, message on your mailbox, and then you will have a video call, they will load on your face, on your, on your passport or ID card, and activate the card. But now it's uh, really complicated to activate that way. I will recommend you do one of two other things. Don't go to a post office and do it because it takes time. It takes time and it's not easy. The most important thing is that go to a branch of company branch like uh, Vodafone, T-Mobile or O2 and there say that you want to buy a SIM card. SIM card. They will sell you SIM card you will pay for it, they will activate it for you, they will check everything and you will receive a SIM card full working with everything. Of course, say that you want also international roaming. Another thing is, after that you will be able to manage your SIM card using your website. Other ways to buy a SIM card on a petrol station and go with that SIM card to a branch and say that you want to activate it, you don't know how to do it, and they will do everything for you. They will put your data in the system, they will make a video call for you, uh, tell that you are from another country, other you member states or even other country, you are in Germany for some time, you want to activate a card, and they will activate everything. You can uh, give an um, uh, address of your hotel. It, it doesn't have to be your address, but it needs to be an address in Germany. So use the hotel address and everything will work. I've decided to choose a Vodafone from a few other things. At that moment, is the best SIM card for roaming in EU. 
if you want to use a tag in the whole EU, it's one of the best. For example, in most other countries, you have a small limit, like 5, 10, or 20 gigabytes of data in a roaming. If you want to buy a GiveDAV SIM card in the UK, it's a great in the UK because you can pay £25, pounds, uh, 20, pa 20 pounds for a 25 uh, gigabyte limit or you can pay 35, 35 pounds for a no limit internet. But it's no, but even with that 35 pound uh, uh, option, when you pay for a plan with, for 35 pounds, you will have unlimited data in the UK but only up to 20 GB in the EU so if you want to use deep draft card in the EU remember that buy that for a 20 pounds so you will have 25 in the uh, UK but only up to 20 in the EU so it's not the best idea to buy any more expensive plan because you will not use it in the roaming of course if you stay longer in the UK it's a really good idea Ale. Now, that's another way. Uh, so, uh, you can go to from country to country and use a small pack uh, of internet, a small bundle, and that's problem. That's a big problem. Because you will need a local card instead of a, a main card or a main card. You will have a. You need to use your main card in the phone, and a second card for the internet, local card for the internet, and go from a state to a state and buy new register, and there's a problem. What's a good option? Have a, your block if you live in the EU or UK, you can have your one main SIM card with a local number, with some small plan only for receiving calls and messages from a, mostly calls from a people from that country who want to reach you using local number but you can have a second or a phone german sim card for for roaming and internet because there is even the best black plan and the is called vodafone black and that's a plan with up to 80 gigabyte in the German and up to 45 GB in the Roman, so it's twice more than GIFDEV. It's expensive, just you will have to pay 80 euros for that monthly. But even if you have some some cheap plan for 10 or 20 euro from your country where you live, just to have an active SIM card, and then you are able to and you can afford that a really expensive uh, plan for German uh, German Vodafone then you have a really nice plan what well, the second really great thing is compared to a DivDAV DivDAV is really great in the UK you have uh, 5G you have unlimited data for 35 pounds it's, it's great but the biggest problem is there's no 5G abroad in the EU no 5G in the EU in Vodafone you have the 5G in that uh, expensive black plan included uh, everywhere in the EU and if you have some cheaper plan for uh, 0, 5, 10 or 20 euros monthly you can buy 5G option for 3.5 euro so it's a really really great idea and it was pretty nice the only big problem about the German SIM card is the activation process. There's a place you go called here Talia. So the best idea is to go to a branch to let them set up everything in the system which is necessary and then everything will work. Great idea, yeah. And as you can see before it was much less complicated, you could buy an register on a website. Now, in case of anti-terrorism rules and new laws, there's the thing that they need to verify your ID when you register. You can do it on the website, you need to go with your ID to just register it. And it takes time. So, if you want to travel across Germany as, as a tourist, in, and when you arrive in a first German city, go to a, to a T-Mobile, Vodafone or O2 company 
and then bind SIM card and let them activate it. Because you will need it in other places where you will go, you need for a Navi for everything. So that's a really important thing. Thanks for watching and see you soon.